guys, this is Navin Reddy. So in this tu in this tutorial, we'll talk about something called as wrapper classes. Now, what ex what exactly wrapper classes are? Now, when we talk about a C language, C is POP, right? It's procedure oriented programming. C plus plus is partially OOPS, and Java is purely object oriented, right? So when you say purely object oriented, it should be hundred percent. No. When you talk about Java language, Java is 99.99% object oriented. Now question arise, where is that 0.01%? And that goes for something called as primitive data type. Now when you, when you create any variable, right? When you create a variable like int variable. So now if you talk about int variable, then we'll talk about float variable. Now all this Primitive types, they are derived, they are derived from C language, right? So C is pop, it will follow pop. In Java, what you need is everything should be an object, right? So when you create a variable also, it should be object. When you create an int variable, it should be object. When you create a, create a float variable, it should be object. But unfortunately, int, when you create variable as int i, this is not an object, it's a variable or it's a primitive variable. When you talk about float f, it will again give you primitive, primitive values. What we need, we need to create objects, right? So instead of writing int, we have a replacement of int and that is called as integer. Now this int is primitive data type and integer is a class. So now when I create object of integer in this way, if I write if I write int i equal to I uh, will name it as int obj i obj. So we have integer i obj equal to its new integer. Now in this this thing is not a variable, it's an object, right? And what we need? Objects. In if, if I want to store a value 5, so instead of saving that value int i equal to 5, what I can do is, I can say i obj and we can pass 5 here, right? So value of, a uh, value in i obj will be 5. So this integer class is called as wrapper classes. Okay, so like web integer, we have float class, we have double class, we have character class, we have byte class, we have class for all primitive types. Okay, so integer is a wrapper classes or wrapper class. So there's a concept called as wrapping and unwrapping. So think about it. Let's suppose you have a int i variable is equal to 5. Okay. So you have to convert, you have to convert this int i or that i which is a variable to object. So what I can do is I can just pass i here. So value of 5 which is stored in i which will be passed to i obj, right? So this is an object. Now this will, cons this will have a value 5, right? So this concept, this thing is called as wrapping. So it is wrapping. Simple, right? Then what is unwrapping? So taking a variable, putting it on an object, it is called as wrapping. Taking out that variable from an object is called as unwrapping. Simple, right? So what I can do is I can say int j equal to. I want to take the value of j from this object. So what I can do is I can say i obj. So there is a method called as int val int value in this class. So using int value you can pick up that value. Now j will have something called as 5. Right? Simple, right? So this is how you can work with wrapper classes. So in wrapper classes we have lots of classes. We have integer classes, we have float class, double class, we have uh, byte class, we have lots of classes, right? So all this class create something called as wrapper classes. Okay? So converting a variable into object, wrapping. Taking out the value from the object, unwrapping. So this is called as wrapper classes. In fact, you have the same concept in C sharp as boxing and auto boxing, also boxing and boxing, right? So this is a, this is what uh, wrapper classes are. If you have any doubts, please comment and please do subscribe for the further videos. Thank you so much.